I think it would be Tatis in right field, Soto in left, Grish in center, because Tatis has the better range than Soto. I think that would just be better. Uh, he did play right field in 2021 a little bit as well. Um, so that's how I would align it. So I'm putting my lineup. I'm having Tatis in right. I'm having Soto in left. I'm having Grish in center. Not the way Rosenthal said it. But imagine if they had this lineup. Trey Turner leading off at shortstop, hitting second, Fernando, in right field, hitting third, Juan Soto, as your left fielder. Manny Machado, who should have won MVP this year, batting cleanup at third base. Jake Cronenworth, all-star 2021, all-star 2022. He would be your five hitter at first. Ha Sung Kim, maybe hitting sixth as your shortstop. I'm just trying to balance out this order here. Right, left, right, left, as much as I can. Have your bring in a DH, have him be a lefty. If you go bring in Trey Turner, I mean, you're, you're over the luxury tax, so maybe go bring in Michael Brantley. There's your lefty. And then you have Austin Nola hitting eighth, catching as your righty. Then you have Trent Grisham, center field, batting ninth. And then you bring it back up to the top of the order with Turner, Tatis, and Soto. Right out of the gate, you have to face Trey Turner, Fernando Tatis Jr., Juan Soto. Oh, and if you... If one of those guys reach, reaches base, Manny Machado, and then Jake Cronenworth. Like, come on. That's, that's the best, definitely top half of the, any lineup in baseball, I would think. So it is extremely fun to fantasize about. Again, I, I don't think that Trey Turner is going to be a Padre. I don't think that Xander Bogarts is going to be a Padre. Because I think the Padres' priority is giving Juan Soto five hundred million dollars, if that's what it's ta- if that's you know what it takes. But what a lineup that would be! And Peter Seidler would definitely get the return on the investment. He, there would be so many sellouts at Petco Park; they would easily break the record. Like people went to Padres games for Fernando Tatis Jr. He's coming back. They were selling out games this past season. And Fernando wasn't on the team. Right? And now you add, not just Tatis, but Turner as well. That would be absolutely huge. Look, I've said this already. I think the priority for the Padres should be starting pitching. I think it's smarter for the Padres to spend $30 million this year on a starting pitcher and a couple bats instead of one guy, which would be what Trey Turner is or Bogarts. But these guys, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, crap, we got Trey Turner. What are we doing? Like, no. As I said earlier, I think if we got Trey Turner, if we got Xander Bogarts, that's not going to limit them from getting Juan Soto. My parents might be paying $30, $40 beers, the tri-tip nachos might skyrocket in price. Gaglione Bros at Petco might be skyrocketing in price. But you know, tickets are going to be skyrocketing. But like again, they did not trade Juan so they did not trade for Juan Soto for two years. Peter Seidler has already said that to the media that two years would not satisfy him. 